<clears throat> the high-tech, PC-driven world we live in today would not exist without the achievements of Steve Wozniak. I'm Jason Orman, and I've been obsessed with technology since I was about six years old, and I'm currently a computer programmer and an interface designer. I'm going to tell you about Steve Wozniak's childhood and how one of his inventions changed our world forever. According to Steve's book, I Was, Wozniak's father was an engineer at Lockheed Martin. Steve's father wasn't allowed to talk about the details of what he did, but we know that he did work on a missile program. Uh, as a result of his job, his father had access to the most uh, cutting-edge technology in the world at the time. And Steve was very curious, and he was constantly asking his father about how things worked. His father was very patient and always took the time to explain the details uh, of the inner workings of all the devices around him. Steve's desire for technology was unquenchable. He entered a school science fair and often won uh, first place. He built ham radios and a house-to-house -house intercom system when he was only a child. He once built a project that used a complex electrical system to turn on and off light bulbs that represented protons and, and electrons of various different uh, elements. Uh, but Steve's really big achievements came later. He had become friends with Steve Jobs and a business-minded geek, a business-minded geek at UC Berkeley. Both uh, Jobs and uh, Wozniak uh, were part of the Homebrew Computer Club, which was just basically a group of guys hacking on uh, technology. Steve Wozniak designed and built a computer. And it was unique in that it had a keyboard and a monitor. And the other computers at the time, if you can imagine it, actually used uh, lights to indicate what was going on and had a series of switches to input data. Uh, Jobs had seen the, com uh, had seen the potential uh, for selling uh, Wozniak's new computer. And so uh, they actually founded Apple Computers in 1976 and started selling their first model, which was the Apple I. Uh, the Apple I was uh, preceded by the Apple II uh, and ended up being wildly successful and, and really uh, jump-starting the whole PC market. Um, but for most of you, what you know as a computer uh, is really what Apple had done with the Lisa. The Lisa was the first home computer with a graphical interface. Uh, before the graphical interface, computers had a text-only input. Uh, similar to a DOS type system. And this graphical interface made things uh, a lot easier for the general public uh, to use computers. Uh, after the launch of Lisa, the industry began to rapidly develop other computers and operating systems. The Lisa had officially sparked the beginning of the PC revolution. Now computers are part of our everyday lives. Steve Wozniak created the first user-friendly personal computer and co-founded one of the most powerful and influential companies of our time. Just think, without Steve Wozniak, the computer revolution might not have ever happened. Okay. We had a TRS-83 at the house. Yeah. Whatever it is, yeah. 